All right, so one more example here of finding a particular solution for a differential equation. So we have y plus 2 over x squared minus x plus 2 times dy over dx equals x over y. So again, I'm going to, I see this as being a separable differential equation. So the first thing I'm going to do is basically cross multiply. So if you think about the y plus 2 times dy, we'll take uh, all of that and multiply it by y. So there's our y plus 2 times dy. Again, we're going to multiply that by y. On the right side, I'm going to take the x, multiply it by x squared minus x plus 2 dx. Well, we're going to integrate both sides, but to do that, I'm going to uh, distribute the y out. So y squared plus 2y dy. And then I'm also going to distribute the x out. So x cubed minus x squared plus 2x dx. Now we'll just integrate, integrate. So on the left side, we'll have y to the third over 3. We'll have 2y squared over 2, which will leave us with y squared. On the right, we'll have x to the fourth over 4 minus x to the third over 3 plus 2x squared over 2 or just x squared. Again, now I'm going to stick on our plus c. Um, I don't know a good easy way to just solve this for y, so I'm going to leave our solution like this, except for we still have to find our particular solution. So we're using uh, y of 1 equals 2. So again, this is going to be our x value. Uh, this will be our y value. So let's see, it will have 2 to the third over 3 plus 2 squared on the left. On the right, we'll have 1 fourth minus 1 third plus 1 plus c. And now it's just fun arithmetic solving for c. Um, so, so what, this is 8 thirds plus 4. Let's see, I guess we have a fourth minus a third. That's going to be uh, what, I guess, so 3 over 12 minus 4 over 12, that's negative 1 over 12, plus 1, plus C. Let's see, if we subtract the 1, uh, if we subtract 1 from both sides, our plus 4 will turn into a plus 3. We can add the 1 12th over. That'll give us our value for C. Let's see, I guess we could multiply top and bottom of the first fraction by 4, top and bottom of our second fraction by 12. That would give us 32 over 12. 3 times 12 will be 36 over 12, plus 1 over 12. Let's see, 32 and 36, that's going to be 68 plus 1. That's going to be 69 over 12. Um, we can always reduce this. Let's see, we can write this as 3 times 23. That's going to give us uh, 69. And then 3 times 4, so we can cancel out the 3s. So 23 over 4 uh, will be our C value. It took as much time to find C as it did to actually separate it and integrate it. So therefore, I would say our particular solution, our particular solution, I'm just going to go back to our general solution, and I'll just simply plug in our C value. So y to the third over 3 plus y squared. Let's write this a little bit better. So exact same thing, I'm just going to plug in our C value. So y to the third over 3 plus y squared equals x to the fourth over 4 minus x to the third over 3 plus x squared. Again, plus our C value, which we said is 23 over 4. And again, this is now going to be our particular solution uh, that satisfies that initial differential equation. Uh, the, that original differential equation with that initial condition.